A ratio is the relationship between two or more quantities among a larger group of items. Let's look at some examples. Here is a collection of baseballs, basketballs, and soccer balls. There are two basketballs and three soccer balls. So the ratio of basketballs to soccer balls is 2 to 3, and this ratio can be written three ways. Two to three, two thirds as a fraction, or two to three. Each expression is equivalent, and each one says that the ratio of basketballs to soccer balls is 2 to 3. Now let's look at the ratio of basketballs to baseballs. There are two basketballs and four baseballs. So you can write the ratio these ways. Two to four two-fourths, or two to four. Notice that the fraction version is a fraction that can be simplified. Two-fourths can be simplified to one-half. So another better way of expressing the ratio of basketballs to baseballs is this. One to two, one half, and one to two. Here is a collection of triangles, hexagons, and circles of different colors, and there are numerous ratios that can be formed. For example, the ratio of triangles to circles is 4 to 5. Four fifths or 4 to 5. The ratio of triangles to hexagons is 4 to 3, or 4 thirds, or 4 to 3. But we can also look at the ratio of colors. The ratio of yellow objects to red objects is 3 to 3, or 3 thirds, or 3 to 3. When written as a fraction, 3 to 3 is really the same as 1 over 1, so that the ratio of red to yellow is 1 to 1. There are many other types of ratios you can explore. For example, look at the ratio of red circles to orange circles, or the ratio of yellow shapes to non-yellow shapes. Ratios are a way of understanding an arrangement of different objects and the numerical relationships among different subsets of those objects.